feel paralyzed What's up Hans family and welcome to Hans Wing. Hans Wien is 31 tutorials in the month of October, so that means a new tutorial every single day. This is a Greek gods and goddesses collab with Alex Faction and Sandra Deluxe. Alex Faction is Hades, the lord of the underworld. He is the shit, obviously, duh. And we have Sandra Deluxe as a twisted Aphrodite. I mean, Jesus, look at that face. She's like one of the most beautiful fucking people ever. And I am Nyx, goddess of the night. Their videos will be linked down below, as well as all of the product details, and let's get to the tutorial. We're gonna start off by just kind of prepping our face. I'm using this new hydrating mist from First Aid Beauty and I'm just spraying this all over, drinking my coffee, of course. And then I'm going to use my shade foundation to just buff all over my skin. You can use whatever your shade is, but if you are a little darker than I am, maybe use a couple shades lighter. I then wanna highlight my face a little bit with Krylon Super Color Clown White Paint, which is a cream paint, but you can see I'm not really blending it, I'm just kind of patting it around in a few spots. I want this to look very grungy. This is the Saucebox Etude palette, and I'm using this white shade just to set our makeup a little bit. And then this gray toned color from that palette, and we are going to start kind of contouring our face a little bit and adding a little bit of depth. You can see I'm not swiping the color because I don't want to blend it. We are going for grungy, so I am just patting the color on. I'm also adding a little black too on my cheekbones, around my forehead, and down my jaw. This is a kind of cinnamon color from Saucebox, very pretty, but I want to use it as blush, so I'm focusing this more towards the apples of the cheeks, but still just stippling the color on. We want the eyes to look like little black, creepy holes, pretty much, so I'm using a little bit of grease paint, this is from Makeup Forever in their flash palette, and I am just basically taking the product and I am dabbing it all over my eyelid, and slowly bringing it up and down to create lines on the tops and bottoms of my eyes. This will kind of give an artsy illusion too. I really wanted this to look like I was kind of out of a painting of this goddess of the night. Kind of the less blended, the better. An easy way to do tears that I love is I pack on a ton of eyeshadow on the very base of where the tear is gonna be and then use a little water on a paintbrush to drip the water downwards. The eyeshadow will then stick to the water and pull down into these kind of realistic tears. And you could do this with paint, but I like doing it with eyeshadow because once it dries, it really gives that effect that you were crying and your makeup really did just come off. And then taking a brush again and just kind of patting it around to make it a little messier and then taking that grease paint on a very small brush and drawing on a few little dots just to give it more of an artsy feel. I'm focusing the dots more around the eye and then kind of having them cascading up and outwards from the sides of the eyes and then drawing a few little lines too. You could do this with more lines or more dots, just more little pieces of chunky shadow, whatever you prefer. Darken up the eyes as much as possible and then if you have to darken up any little spots around the face, do so. If you put too much of that shit on your face, you can always pat it with your finger and what that will do is kind of push the product into the foundation and blend it out a little bit to lighten it. Using Anastasia's Bloodline Liquid Lipstick, I'm just going to completely fill in my lips, not really overlining them too much yet. Yet. <laughs> and then I'm taking Krylon's Cream White Paint again and highlighting the middle of the lips. Not blending it, just patting it down. Take that darkest eyeshadow from the Saucebox palette, basically black, it's like a super, super, super dark brownie black, and I am going to just kind of accentuate the outsides of my lips and kind of ombre them a little bit into the red, but not too much. I'm bringing down a few lines from the shadow just to keep the mouth looking cohesive with the eyes, and then I am going to take this Mayron silver pigment, mixing it with the mixing liquid, and I am just putting it on my brush and then I'm taking my finger and flicking it towards my face. That will give that kind of splatter effect that I'm looking for. And if you want a few extra little bits of silver, you can take your brush, I'm using that fluffy brush, and just add a little more in certain spots. Do your chest pretty much the exact same way you did the face, kind of just darkening up some areas that you want. I wanted my collarbones to pop out a little more, so I'm adding plenty of shadow behind them using the different colors from that Saucebox Etude palette and then using that same method to have drips coming down my neck as well, adding between silver and black. I wanted a little of both. 
keep this super super messy this look is so easy and quick to do and it's great if it's kind of a last minute Halloween idea because it's very striking and beautiful but this took me not even an hour very quick Add some more silver if you want. I love the look of that liquid silver. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to darken up my jawline a little more and the outsides of my shoulders. And give me a sec while I pop in my contacts. And this is the final look, you guys. It's super easy, and I hope you liked this tutorial. I know it was pretty quick. Make sure to go check out the other two artists, Sandra and Alex. They're awesome. They're the shit. I've already said that, but who the fuck cares? I'm saying it again. You could make this look even creepier with some black scleras, maybe do like a teeth mouth. You could really do a lot from this kind of artsy approach. Please do subscribe and I will just see you guys tomorrow.